Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of the Insane Difficulty Run. It is Act 2, Chapter 6 and I'm still uh, torn between Phantom Goliath, which is more loot, and a Burning Overlord, which is less loot, but we can bring more, uh, more of our troops and that means more fun. I actually enjoy playing with four a bit more than with a lower amount of troops. So if we were to staff that team, we could bring another Vanguard. This uh, here is a Vanguard, which is Intimidation skilled. I haven't seen that yet and another support so that means we're again seeing a different skill uh, skill set for that vanguard and different skill set for trigger and I think we're going to uh, to do it because I I want to see a bit of variety in the builds scouts have found another grub emotion cache luckily it's just as flammable as the rest of them get there destroy it double time at home Good, time to deploy our new B-team. Emulsion supply, dead ahead. Let's blow it to shit. This'll be good. Well, it's one of those missions where I think we have all the time in the world. If I recall correctly, there was uh, mm, there was another modifier on this mission, but I can't recall what it said. One epic case here. Got to go to the bridge. Potentially another case somewhere here, right? Wrong. There's another case here. Potentially the last one is somewhere. Well, I haven't seen it yet. Happy I like here. the design of this map. Looks great. Let's give it a go. A few enemies. I'm listening. Good, moving up. Uh, snipers. I was hoping we wouldn't need to deal with them. But I was wrong. Let's first of all get rid of all of the ticks. And now we're in a perfect position to get sniped. We don't want that. Reporting in. Good, we're going to cloak. And Taking let's position. remember we don't have an overwatch build. Doesn't mean though that we cannot at least overwatch a bit. I read Good, you. moving into full cover. <laughs> and moving into full cover. This is not a tank vanguard. Gotta be careful here as well. Bring it on. I'm ready. Enemy movement. Okay, Who's at least next? the plan with the ticks worked out well. Miss me. <laughs> Miss me. Oh boy. We are running on thin ice. Damn it. No more grenades. That would be the answer. I can't use grenades as the answer to everything.
Good. Moving up. Jack here will give give everybody another action because we need it against all of those snipers. And then yeah. just hide for now. Go ahead. Vanguard reporting in. I would love to do what the Vanguard's supposed to do. The problem that I'm seeing is can't really bayonet charge. However, maybe I am wrong. Maybe we can charge over. I always keep it sharp. Up close and personal. You got him. Well, these guys clearly are in a good defensive position. I could theoretically move back. Orders. I read you. Or we are pushing on. Support ready. We do have a chainsaw. Could move all the way to here, kill it. That would be one secure kill. Can we kill additional ones? Look, we're going to be we're going to be effed no matter what. Decent crit chance. On Overwatch. I still Overwatch over here. And this will let us end in cover and one of them down. Okay. Good kill. Setting up a perimeter. Let's try to get in cover somehow. Heads up! Locust activity! Hostile sighted! Good, he missed the shot. That guy got interrupted. Make it count! Moving up. Kill this guy. I still a critical hit. Grub terminated. Acknowledged. Okay, I think we're just going to wait for a bit. And there's no point in just rushing. On it. As far as I'm concerned, no enemy will spawn at least for now while wow, those four snipers Vanguard were 
a hard enemy pack. Imagine if they would have hit. We had no tank. The fact that they are immediately killing you, I think that's almost a bit overpowered. There is sometimes there is not enough counterplay that you could do. You're effectively going to lose a soldier. We will got one crate and now it's time to just regain our, on, our cooldowns. We've used quite a few. Waiting orders. Specifically proximity mine and coal and the extractions. Two more turns. One more turn. Good. Time to lever the bridge. And let's hope that there are not that many snipers ahead of us. Hey, to play with them. New objective, and there seems to be some sort of boss monster. Hey, I'm not sure what to think about uh, that that bridge. Uh, that bridge here. We have a lot of low ground. It appears to me that we need to move up as fast as we can. I read you. Haven't spotted anyone out there. So the question is do we take this or this entrance? Five sniper drones. Well, that concludes not to go to the uh, right hand side. Understood. We are charging in. Yeah. Vanguard on standby. Uh huh. Good. Everybody charges as fast as they can. I want to take the fight to the high ground. Or to at least to an e even ground. We're fighting against enemies on the low ground here. Might as well be dead for all I'm concerned. Alright, five wretches. That's not a problem. Those guys, they are a problem. I think so far we're doing fine. Just need to move everybody up here as fast as we can. Oh, there's loot. Now I found the last crate. Good, 
wait. We're picking up the loot first. Don't want to let that go to waste. Yep. On it. All right, we can't hit every single one of these guys. But we most certainly can put a nice back. little proximity mine there to kill two of them. They won't get and whoever me. is going to rush through will be hit as well. Heavy. Roger that. Moves up. Gotta be careful, I want to take the full cover there. On it. Good. Heavy We're on nicely standby. overwatching. Heavy overwatches as well. Bring it on, Grub! And that all you one got? of them already died, the other one is pushed back. Correction died as well. Careful, they're coordinating. Okay, so far, seeing a lot of movement from their side, but luckily we also have line of sight vision blockage, and I think that's what we need to do here. Charging in with a scout. And let's cloak. Yes, please. I read you. Roger that. Okay, next turn we can use our bayonet. Orders. For a nice little bayonet charge. Same on this side with the chainsaw. Jack moves in for next round. I will potentially try to give everybody an extra action. I read you. And moving. Since they clearly have the upper hand in the ranged department. We're going to give them. Uh, we're going to give that extra accuracy next turn. For now, I don't think that that is a smart idea. Let's reload. Reload. Standing by. Okay, completely. Uh, completely Setting out of actions, perimeter. and completely out of sight. That is even more important. Yes, they're on the move. So they are going to move in, hopefully. We're going to punish it hard. Right, they're hungering. Interesting choice. Could give everybody another action. Uh -huh. What is with a scout? Don't have the grenades yet. And they would come in super handy. Moving. Might as well just oh. wait for now. <laughs> Jack can use a couple of auras. Sweet. As a preparation. And then hide. Hey. 
I'm wondering I'm if listening. we were to go in, would we see any one of them from any position? Apparently not. Wilco. But what I think would be possible. Is this here, right? Throwing frag! Hunker down lost. And okay. We're just getting back in cover. <laughs> Awaiting orders. Bit of a lame tactic against them, but I have the mild suspicion that you need those types of tactics. Yes, please. Here, catch. Eliminated. All right, two of them are down. Now, what is the enemy okay. going to do? Bring it on, Grub. Bring it on. Just ordering more people in. Now it's our turn. Can we hit them? Please. The answer is no, not yet. Go ahead. Give them hell. Scout here. On it. Can't cloak yet. But I, I'm not sure if we need to. If we play our cards right. This here might be a kill. We hit the sky. I want to jump in. Hey. And just get destroyed. Okay. So instead, let's move back. I think we're fine. Jack can throw a barrier over here, just in case if we're not. Nice. Jack also gives himself another aura, and then we're going to wait. They won't get past me. Vanguard on standby. Okay, a bit of a standoff fight. Up, locust, I'm not sure if I'm playing it as the game intended it to be played. What I can tell you though is I'm pissed that he had the audacity to kill yep. uh, to try to kill us. eventually will trigger 
a bit of a healing on the scout. We're picking up that weapon. Oh, bow. More like OP bow. Roger that. And we're moving it. Yep. Setting up a perimeter. Standing by. Good. I think we're fine here. <laughs> Jack moves up. That's all heavy to hit better and then hides. And turn. If I'm not mistaken, there were two additional snipers and we gotta deal with them. Let's kick some ass! Yes, there we go. Ooh, wow. You got him. Thousand points of damage. That weapon is nasty. Here. Stim grenade. Here, heal up. Well done. We healed up. Solid copy. <laughs> yep. Scout moves over. Still wondering in which direction. Okay, so the last guy is over there. Fair enough. Still wondering in which direction we're going to flee afterwards. Potentially to the north. Here Makes go. sense. About damn time. Taking position. Only 33% chance to hit. In which case, we're just going to blow him up. Last round! Waiting orders. Okay. You got it. Interestingly got enough, this guy didn't even survive one of the hits. But we got another surprise for him, Going don't fast. we? There we go. Is this going to be the end of the mission already? Apparently yes. Good. Very good. Well, we've missed one rare case. I didn't know that it was already the end of the mission, elsewise we could have uh, collected it with Jack. Hmm. Well, you can't uh, win all the time, but at least we got all of uh, the um, epic stuff. 
I really like how our uh, how our scout has performed. I mean, look at that, 14 kills in a mission. Kind of goes without saying that that was awesome. Patrol, Blitz and Focus. And we finally can take a look at all of the good loot that we're, uh, that we're having. So, number one, Hair Trigger. 15% extra chance for a uh, shot onto the same target. We do have enough ammunition here. I like the 30 damage though. Who would benefit from that? Potentially, potentially a heavy or, or Okay, wait a second. We're going to uh, we're going to do the weapon first because I won't hold that thought. Oh, I see. We can't we can't give it to Sid because Sid would with his flatliner would have really benefited from it. Ten percent accuracy bonus. Yes. And I think overall that is potentially even better. 30 damage. It's a bit more damage, the hair trigger. Let's give it a shot. No pun intended. Good, so we got a couple of other things. Champion here executes an enemy. Everybody's healed for 10. There's the better version of it. And blitz. I like Blitz, that isn't bad. 50% chance to get an extra shot. And we wanted to give him untraceable 75% reduction against overwatch shots. Oh yeah, I mean, not even a question. Let's maybe stick with armor to not make it too complicated. The 15% health uh, for an execution aren't bad but I think we're going to go with blitz here extra action not bad for him either the healing isn't bad both are quite good but I think blitz is a tiny bit better let's see Mikaela Sixty percent chance to reload. Yeah, I think we're going to keep that reload. The other option is to simply give her to simply give her the armor that um, that gives action points. So this here is grenadier. I think that goes without saying. And finally. We got Stabilizer. I think Champion is actually better than Stabilizer and the 10% Evasion are fantastic. Good Helmets. There's only one. With a critical... Um, oh no, there's actually none. No good extra Helmet. Okay, Boots. Evasion and Health. I think we all have better Boots. No further, no further grenades. Focus. Or damage and ammunition. I think we're going with damage. Good, and finally Michaela. 15% chance to receive one action versus 30 damage. Fifteen percent would be 
42 points of damage on average. So it is better than the 30 damage. Although I am going to say that that is going to reduce our damage yet quite a bit. We, we need to rely on crit damage. And finally some skill trees. This here worked beautifully. Two turns duration is great. This one here isn't bad either. I like it. And that extra free cloak isn't bad either as well. Blood Rush is good. Well, let's maybe start with this here. Yes, and this here. Yes, because now we do have two turns of extended cloak. Don't have a lot of chances to recloak afterwards, but we have the extended cloak and I should have used it the last time a bit better because we can use all of our demolitions whilst we're cloaked and when we're killing things we can move even faster so that's good plus when we're shooting someone our frag cooldown is reduced so i can uh, see how that build is going to play out nicely as we go on and before we now move on to the next mission it's the end of today's uh, episode thank you for watching guys if you enjoy the content leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye